chasing another big fight with Morales. Hard left hand. Sufficient to demonstrate that Velasquez isn't going to try to hide from Pacquiao's speed and power. Fighter, let's see you fight me. Uppercut inside by Pacquiao. His opponents with their heads up. So far, he hasn't been able to do that because of the low head movement. There was the straight the left, left hand. He led with it. Left hand. Jab, jab, left hand. Not enough variety. Velasquez. Velasquez taking it. He didn't exactly expect this. No, and, and for the most part, Pacquiao is doing the same thing. He's still trying to land that powerful straight left hand of his. Pacquiao landed a right. Velasquez to say he's trying to butt me with his skull. There's a big right hand by Velasquez. Pacquiao away with a hard left hand. And there's a good left from Pacquiao. Velasquez holds his hands out as if to say that didn't hurt. And that's your head much may be a big factor in this fight the way it's looking. Pacquiao was bothered in the first fight against Morales by a cut that he suffered in the fifth round of the fight. The cut could have been the product of a punch. You're the accurate uh, power puncher of Pacquiao, but he's still uh -huh. to Pacquiao. Well, and his size as well, because he's been hit some nice, solid. Since that time, he's been fighting bigger guys. After he throws that powerful left hand sometime, Temporarily, he's out of position. In outboxing him earlier this year. He used Pacquiao's head as a target for his jab over and over. Now more here in round two. He's trying to find that knockout power with that left hand. And he's getting close. But the accumulation could well take place. Mm -hmm. And see, once again, that's what I'm saying. After he throws that left hand punch. Velasquez with a counter left hand. In right, that last once exchange. again. That stunned Velasquez. Velasquez now nailing Pacquiao with the right. Pacquiao backs Velasquez off to the left. Get more accurate with both his jab and the left hand. That lead left hand landed flush. A, a, a break right now just to figure out what's going on. Right hand with his glove, took the second right hand, and shook his head a bit. Pacquiao landing a left in there. Velasquez with a right and a left. Wild action. Great right hand for Velasquez. So, you know, with about the same token, even though he's not the most talented guy, he's doing something I think is... But in truth, Manny Pacquiao doesn't stay in a southpaw stance all that much. That square sometimes after he throws punches, like right there. He would just as soon square up because he wants to fight <laughs> hit. Manny Pacquiao hits and gets hit. Hard left hand. I have the sense that Pacquiao's speed the speed is just such a big difference. Oh, like Pacquiao seems to be in very good condition. Even though he's punching a lot, he seems to have recuperating pals. The sensational shape. Pacquiao is known to be a gym rat, very proud, and watch him train on a daily basis. After that fight, Roach decided that was too much of a distraction. And this time around, they shut them out. And his favorite combination is to land you up with a right jab and shoot a firm so that it doesn't go right into your face. There's the speed and the big left hand by Pacquiao. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through three rounds? Uh, uh, straight left hand that I move after he hits him has just been murdering Velasquez. I mean, Velasquez has to score when Manny Pacquiao's right in front of him, and that's all. Pacquiao was 18 out of 47, Velasquez 8 out of 38. It was like to be a thriller. Yeah, but it, it, yeah, it, it, and, and, and it is, but you know, I don't know how many of these type fights he can keep having back to back. And when you're fighting the quality guys, you don't know. Emmanuel, they have a few hot years when they're filled with confidence. Manny which, Pacquiao which, has parallels to both those guys. Which is it? Hot. Manny Pacquiao's red hot. Good match. That guy pees it. And then a hard punch would be more effective. But when you say you can expect nothing but dynamite in every punch. It was a good body punch. By the body punch. Velasquez gets in a good little shot to the body.
without being in any danger. And en route to the ring to score that knockout, Valoria gave a hug to the fighter he fought in his last for subdural bleeding and actually was taken to a hospital where he nearly died. It's very nice of him, too. Also, uh, an American, of course, but he is a 100% Filipino background so that he can uh, part of his fan base as well. Copy box numbers through round five. Pacquiao's left. an abrasion alongside the left eye of Velasquez. Testimony to those right hands he's been catching just like that. And more accurate with his power shots. But I'm very impressed and still is punching with full power at this stage of the fight. Here's a pounds. And well, when you're fighting guys who are like what is a natural weight, it can be a big factor late in the fight. Stuns Velasquez. Pacquiao trying to finish it. Got 40 seconds to get it done. One of the most vicious finishers in the sport. Velasquez in big trouble now. There's no way I can see him going to the fight. The increasing accuracy of Pacquiao's shots making a difference. And Velasquez goes to his the knockdown. And that's a, good a stoppage. Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao. Yeah.